we have the clear understanding of h parameters and z parameters and now we are going to perform the conversion of h parameters to z parameters and to start with i have taken the set of equations we have in case of h parameters and uh, let's say this equation here is our equation number one and this equation is equation number two and apart from these two equations i have also taken the set of equations we have in case of z parameters and let's say this equation is our third equation and this equation is our fourth equation and here we are trying to convert the h parameters to z parameters that is we want to find out z11 z12 z21 and z22 in terms of h11 h12 h21 and h22 so what we will do is we will try to convert these two equations in the form of these two equations and after that we will perform the comparison to have all the four z parameters now when you focus on equation number four you will find we have three variables v2 i1 and i2 and when you focus on equation number two you will find we have the same variables v2 i1 and i2 so it is very easy to have this form of equation from this equation so let us now rearrange our equation number two to have the form in equation number four and for this we will subtract h21 i1 from both the sides this will give us minus h21 i1 plus current i2 on the left hand side equal to h22 v2 on the right hand side or we can say that voltage v2 is equal to minus h21 divided by h22 multiplied to current i1 plus 1 over h22 current i2 and let's say this is our equation number 5. Now when you compare equation number 5 and equation number 4 you will find they have the same form. And let's compare equation number 3 and equation number 1. You will find in the third equation we have v1, i1 and i2 as the three variables and in the first equation we have v1, i1 and v2 as the three variables so in order to have the form in equation number three we should get rid of v2 in equation number one and we can do this by putting v2 equal to this from equation number five here in equation number one so let's do this we will put v2 from equation number five to equation number one and this will give us v1 equal to h11 i1 plus h12 and in place of v2 we will have minus h21 divided by h22 multiplied to current i1 plus 1 over h22 multiplied to current i2 let's open the bracket and simplify the equation we will have v1 equal to h11 i1 then we have minus h21 multiplied to h12 divided by h22 current i1 after this we have plus h12 divided by h22 current i2 and we can see that in these two terms we have i1 as common so in the next step we will take i1 common so we have h11 minus h21 multiplied to h12 divided by h22 i1 is common plus h12 divided by h22 i2 
From here we can have H11 multiplied to H22 minus H21 multiplied to H12 divided by H22. And we know H11 multiplied to H22 minus H21 multiplied to H12 is equal to the determinant of H parameters matrix and therefore we can write this as the determinant of H parameters matrix divided by the parameter H22. So we have simplified this portion of the equation to this result and we finally have voltage V1 equal to the determinant of H parameters matrix divided by H22 multiplied to I1 plus H12 divided by H22 multiplied to I2 and let us say that this is equation number 6 and now we will do the comparison to obtain all the 4z parameters and we will first compare equation number 3 with equation number 6. You can see that z11 parameter z11 is equal to the determinant of matrix H, the determinant of matrix H divided by parameter H22 and z12, z12 is equal to H12 divided by H22. Now we will do the comparison between equation number 4 and equation number 5. You can see that Z21 is equal to minus H21 divided by H22 minus H21 divided by H22 and Z22 is equal to 1 over H22. Parameter Z22 is equal to 1 over H22. So in this way we have successfully performed the conversion of H parameters to Z parameters. Now if you want to perform the conversion of Z parameters to H parameters then try to have these two forms of equations from these two equations and you will have parameter H11 equal to replace H by Z and H22 by Z22 and parameter H12 will be equal to replace H12 by Z12 and H22 by Z22. Similarly, parameter H21 is equal to minus Z21 divided by Z22 and the last parameter H22 is equal to 1 over Z22. So this is all for this lecture and let me know if you are getting the benefit from this network theory lecture series or not.